Well, it's a little bit before dawn on a rainy <clears throat> March 19th, 2002, and I'm about to embark on a mission to acquire yet another Santa Fe semaphore. First, I have to drive up to Buffalo Grove to pick up David Boyce. Then we're going to go to Mount Prospect and drop the car and catch the train to Chicago, where we're going to catch the CTA to Midway. And then we're going to fly Southwest Airlines out to Albuquerque and drive up to Springer. And all of that fun's going to happen today. I am going to be one tired, cranky dude at the end of the day. Right now it's... Whoa, the truck's awfully close. Where's my clock? There it is. It's 5.30 a.m. Ah. I think. This could be wrong. No, this isn't it. Hey Dave, <laughs> here we are on the CTA headed to Midway Airport to catch the plane to Albuquerque. And we're looking for Brighton Park semaphores. Yes, I am a geek. We're getting ready to go to Albuquerque. Fort Knox, not the Fort in wherever the hell it is, but rather the Ryder Rental Place in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And there's Dave, and we're ready to head out. So here we are on 25, and we're woo, working our way up Glorietta Pass making 60 miles an hour, 140 miles to Rattan. So I picked probably the least scenic part of the drive here to film. I think I'll stop now. Here we are on Interstate 25. What did that sign say, 140 miles to Rattan? Yeah. We're about 140 miles from Rattan. And I would just got to fun finish saying how that we're going awfully slow. But suddenly we're on a downhill. So here we are. Okay, currently at Las Vegas, New Mexico. And there's the signal shop where in 1983 I acquired some lenses for free. And down here is the station. I think we'll stop at the stop sign. So this, uh, the, this building over here, uh -huh. uh, architecturally significant in that it was designed by Mary Coulter, who like designed a lot of the. Um, oh, there's the station. That was that would have been like a a, a motel 
like a Harvey's motel or something like that, or a restaurant or whatever. And then the second floor was dorms or something for the Harvey girls. But anyhow, so that's in the movie Red Dawn, that's like the communist headquarters for their operation here in the United States. Oh man. This street has changed. Wow, when I was here in 1983, this was like, it was much different. It was like vital and thriving. So the thing about Red Dawn that's kind of interesting is I, I read the little jacket that came with the CD, you know, the DVD. There's a cop over here on the right. And, uh, oh yeah, he's going, what the hell is that guy got on his head? And, uh, did he give me any funny looks? No. Okay. And, uh, so the two girls that are in that movie, one of them is that chick from, uh, the Ferris Bueller's sister. It's Wednesday morning, and we're here at Springer, New Mexico. And over here is apprentice semaphore disassembler David Boyce, working on the one that we've selected. There are four new semaphores here. None of them are in particularly good shape. The one on the right's got one conduit hole, and the box is in pretty good shape. The one on the left's got two conduit holes. Not particularly great shape. And here come the couch users. Hi there. Coming to occupy the couch. And this is the one we've chosen to take. It's got pretty good ladder stock. The head's in pretty good shape. Sun shield looks really good. The only problem is the box which is missing a vent on the back, has a dent in it, and the vents on the front aren't in very good shape. Over here we got our ladder bottoms. One's in really good shape. That's the one we'll be taking. And then, surprisingly enough, two semaphores, which were here in October, are still here. And I think I have determined, maybe, this one looks an awful lot like a picture of a levy signal on the semaphores.com website. I need to remember to get one of these boxes with the little hood on it. So, anyhow, I'm going to get back to work here disassembling my semaphore. Damn it. He didn't even blow his horn. All that hearing protector shit for nothing. Loaded most of 174 into the truck in pretty quick time. Here's the box I brought out from Texas. So there's three left. And we just got to get this pole into the truck, and we'll be done. And we've got most of a semaphore in the truck there. Here's the box from Texas. Got our tools all gathered up, leaving three behind. Over here is the pole we're about to put in the truck. And then we'll be done. So I'm driving along the Santa Fe here. There are the tracks. And a little bit ago I passed 701.1. .1. So 
so up there in the distance, you can't see it yet, is 706.1. Or did that say 704? 704. Two miles to go. There they are. 706.1 and 706.2. Jesus Christ, that's bumpy. Okay, here we are. There they are, right over there. Just the hat. Let's see, we'll turn the wind. Yeah, I parked rather far from them, it turns out. Six point one, two or dot one. I don't know. Looks like they made a little cut in the mud there. I wonder what that's all about. Trees there on the right, or Springer. These guys are just not going to be here next time. 706.2 has really got a very nice blade on its spectacle. It's got three glass lenses. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Dave? Guess what? The boxes at 706.1 and 2 are not perfect. This one's got a big patch in it. Don't know how I missed that last time. See, it's got a really good door though. With a wind guard. Uh, 
buy some bikes that look perfect just drop. It doesn't have any conduit holes though. That counts for a lot. Definitely got more personality than Arnold Ziffel. Let's sit on that a little bit. smooth back. Oh, it's got a conduit hole. Maybe I don't feel so bad about not having these two after all. down there. Well boys, we've had a good run. further away. Hmm. Here we are at the Philmont base camp. It's the Red Rift buildings down there. Maybe I can zoom in. There we go. There's the base camp. And over here is the Tooth of Time. Hmm. It's been a long time since I've been here. Or do you say raton or raton? I suppose there's a bunch of ways you could say it. Hi oh. Somewhere up here is the train station. So, oh. I think the light would be an okay place to turn right. There it is. There's Buster. That's him. What you can do is just go up over that little hump. Oh, I don't know. Why don't you just park? Why don't you? Sure. Just turn, uh, whatever. <laughs> 